Today's lecture, we're going to talk about line. So when we're looking at um, linear equation in two variable, we're going to have a standard form of ax plus y, by equals to c. We call this is going to be a standard form. We also have a, a slope intercept form of a linear equation two variable is y equals to mx plus b. We call this is the slope intercept form. This is going to be a standard form. We also have point slope form. This is a point slope form. We say point slope form because you need to have one point, x1, y1, and slope in order to replace it in the point slope form. This one right here is slope intercept form because you need to have a uh, slope here, m, and uh, b with the sign is going to be your y-intercept. Uh, you also need to know how to find the slope. Well, we're going to learn how to find the slope. And slope is found by y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So again, you have to have two points in order to use these formulas. Or you can also use uh, rise over run. Rise means that changes, changes in y. Run means the changes in x, and we're going to go over that. So this, you're going to use this rise over run to find your slope when graph is given. Whenever you're graphing linear equation, it will be always straight line like this. This is all straight line, and we can draw the straight line from two points. So minimum points that you need to find in order to draw the linear equation will be two points. Most of the time, people like to use the third points for checking. And we get this shape when your slope is uh, positive. We get this straight line when slope is negative. We get this horizontal line when slope is zero. And we get vertical line when slope is undefined. So that's the basic information we need to have. We also need to know what's parallel line and perpendicular line. This is the parallel line when the angle is same, the degree, right? So it means you're going to have a same slope. So if this, this line slope is 3 over 5, your parallel line will have the same slope, 3 over 5. What about perpendicular line? Perpendicular line when you have a 90 degree, right? So these two perpendicular line will have negative reciprocal slope. For example, if the line 1 slope is 3 over 5, then line 2 slope will be opposite sign, so it will be negative, and flip the numerator and denominator, so it will be negative 5 over 3 instead of 3 over 5. Okay, so that's the, all the basic information we're going to need. So when we're solving the first problem, it say find the slope of the line passing through the given two points. So in order to do that, we're going to use the formula. Remember with the two points given, your formula is going to be slope equals to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So when you replace those numbers, just remember the points always come with x1 with y1 together and x2 with y2 together. So when you will replace it, y2 is going to be 5 minus y1 is negative 2 over x2 is 2 x1 is negative 3. And when you're subtracting negative, you end up getting plus, right? Adding. So that will be 7 over 5. So your slope of those two points, the line that passing through that two points is going to be 7 over 5. Let's look at the next one. 
So we're going to use the same formula. So y2, y1 minus, right? x2 minus x1. So then this gives you negative 7. This is same as 1 plus 5 over 2. And 1 will become um, 2 over 2 because we have to have same denominator. So then you get 2 plus 5 will be 7 over 2. This become a complex fraction, fraction inside fraction. So let's try to get rid of that denominator, complex fraction, by multiplying by 2. So if you decide to multiply by 2 on denominator, you need to do the same thing on the numerator. So that's 2 over 1, cancel out 2. So that gives you negative 14 over 7. And you can see that 7 goes into negative 14 twice. And you had negative signs. So that will be your slope for that 2 uh, line that passing through that 2 point. What about finding slope from the graph, right? Finding a slope from the graph, uh, we need to find exact value of the points from your line. So your line is right here, right? So from that line, exact points look like I can say this is going to be 2. And it could be either this point or even that point, right? So just use 1. And we find the rise over run will be your slope. So changes on the y. So from going to get the first point to the second point, you need to first move up 1, right? So that will be up 1. Up or right directions will be positive. Down or left direction will be negative. So go up 1, go up 1. And then move 1, 2, right 2. So we'll be moving right 2, which will give you slope of uh, uh, 1 over 2. What about this one? Your slope is going to be, you're not moving. So this 2 is the exact points, right, we can use. So you're not moving any up and down. From first point to second point, you're just moving to right. So no going up and down, but moving right to, this is going to be still 0. So then um, remember the horizontal line have a slope of 0 from the definition we went over, right? That's the reason why. This one, if I wanted to use these two points, you're only moving up to, but you're not moving right or left, right? So the numerator will be 2, denominator will be 0 because you're not moving. Fraction, whenever you have a 0 on denominator, that's going to be undefined. Um, so then let's look at the next one. What about if we wanted to find slope from equations, right? Uh, of course, this problem, we're not only looking for slope, but we're also looking for y-intercept. And then it's a graph, right? But graph using slope and y-intercept. So we need to find slope and y-intercept. So if we have a slope-intercept form, which is y equals to mx plus b, this is slope-intercept form. The number in front of x variable, that's going to be slope. And the b with the sign is going to be y-intercept, right? So the first one, this is... Uh, slope-intercept forms, 
So the number in front of x will be the slope, so it will be 3 over 2. Your y-intercept is going to be 2. So y-intercept 2 means your x value will be 0, right? Or you could say y equals to positive 2 either way. That's going to be your y-intercept. So with that two information, if you wanted to graph it, you wanted to find y-intercept first. So it will be 2. That's going to be your y-intercept. You can find the second point using the slope. Your slope is 3 over 2, so you're going to go up 3 and move right 2. So it will be somewhere right there, right? Because you're moving, going up 1, 2, 3, and moving right 2. 1, 1, 2, right? So once you find the second point, then you're going to draw the straight line passing through that two points. Oops, I erased too much, right? So that will be the point. So when you draw the straight line passing that two point, that will be the graph. And this is 3, 4, 5, and this is 2, right? Okay, so then let's try the next one. This is um, standard form. And if you wanted to change to slope intercept form, so you can read of slope and y intercept, you pretty much need to solve for y, right? So you're going to subtract 3x, and then you divide everything by 2 to isolate y. So that will be negative 3 over 2x. Divide by 2 will be plus 2, right? So we know that y-intercept is 2, and slope is negative 3 over 2. You wanted to put that negative either numerator or denominator because you want it to decide if it's going to go down or left, right? So we wanted to find y-intercept first. So that will be y-intercept. And it say go down 3 because negative 3. 1, 2, 3, which is negative 1. Move right 2. 1, 2. So that will be the second point. Draw the straight line passing through that point. That will be graph 4 that gave an equation. Let's do one more. So what do we do? Solve for variable y. Right? Isolate y. And divide by 6. So it will be negative 3 over 6x plus 12 over 6. So when you simplify that, you get negative 1 over 2x plus, this is another 2, right? For some reason, we've been seeing positive 2 for y-intercept. So y-intercept is positive 2 again on this problem. And then your slope saying negative 1. So go down 1, move right 2. Draw the line passing through that two points. That will be your graph for that given equation. This one, when you have f of x equals to negative 2, we know that f of x means your y, right? So this is same as saying your y is equals to negative 2, where you do not, lo uh, you do not have any x variable. It means your slope is 0, right? Only time... Oh, only way that your x will be gone from slope-intercept form if this is 0, right? 0 times x, there will be no more 0, right? Uh, no more x. So that's why slope is 0. That's why there is no x variable. So when your slope is 0, remember you're going to have a horizontal line, right? Horizontal line, that passing y negative 2.
so you will have something like that for the graph right 